Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlords. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and uh, yeah, I know I am. My son just had his uh, birthday and it was a really good day. He enjoyed it very, very much and thank you very much to everybody who wished him a happy birthday in the last couple of videos in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you very much guys. You're absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, before we do get into today's video, I would like to just say that I have got a fan on in the background because it's so hot in the UK. Uh, so, you know, you do hear some kind of interference as I'm talking. I do apologize. It's just extremely, extremely hot. Uh, but anyway, guys, the new Fortnite Battle Royale skins have actually been unlocked. They've been leaked. And uh, yeah, today I'm going to be showing you them all with the actual rarities of themselves and the names that we're going to be seeing in the next couple of weeks for Fortnite Battle Royale. So yeah, before we do get into to the video please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more fortnite videos just like this one right here uh, but anyway without further ado let's get into today's video starting off with the number one skin which a lot of people have been very confused about is on screen right now and as you can see this dude right here is a kind of demon looking guy personally for me i don't like him i mean he looks pretty unique but Still, that mohawk is just terrible. I'm not. I'm not a big fan, honestly. Uh, well, this dude is actually by the name of Flytrap, and uh, he is going to be a legendary skin that you can unlock. And presumably, he is going to be a bad guy. He's going to be with the bad team, you know, uh, kind of like a Justice League and like kind of um, a, a bad Justice League. You know, there's kind of like two teams here, and it looks like he's going to be on the bad kind of a super villain team or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, guys, like I said, I don't really like this skin, but I know a lot of people have been very confused about it, and. Uh, I, I've actually read the comment section below on a couple of articles that showed these uh, skins and not a lot of people really like them So yeah, I was really confused at that one. I thought more people would like it, but apparently not, but it's 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 okay You know, uh, but anyway, we're gonna move on to the second skin which is actually called Ventura And uh, she is gonna be on screen right now and as you can see she is a female variant of I can't really remember the guy's name, what his, what his actual name was, but he is the, there's like a male kind of alien superhero thing, and then we have the female variant right here, and again, she looks very similar to that one, except, you know, the bottom half of her face is actually exposed, thus revealing that, yes, yeah, she actually may just be human, and not, in fact, alien, like a lot of people thought. And uh, for those of you who are wondering how much this skin is going to cost, this is actually going to be an epic skin, so you guys can price up the V-Bucks yourself. Now we're going to move on to the next skins, which is actually another set. Uh, the first one is going to be called the Scoundrel, and he is going to be an epic. He is on screen right now. As you can see, it is this kind of a uh, kind of bandit, bank robber kind of looking dude. He's got that little painted on mustache that look, just looks really funny. With the actual eyes, kind of eye mask and stuff like that with the white hair. I personally like this. And again, not a lot of people have been, like, a lot of people have hated on it, actually, to be honest. Which, again, I'm very confused about. For an ep epic skin, I think this is actually pretty pretty decent, to be honest. And uh, especially with the back bling that you actually get with it, which we're going to be going over in just a minute. Uh, but yeah, I like this skin. Possibly one of my favorites so far in the actual leaked items itself. Moving on, we do have a female variant, which is going to be on screen right now. And as you can see, this one is called Rapscallion, and she is also going to be an epic variant. And again, pretty much the same thing. You know, they very lo they they look very much the same. You know, they've got the exact same color hair. They've got the band uh, like the bandit kind of mask on with the kind of a, uh, I guess the beanie hat. And yeah, not really much to talk about other than both of their back blings is very different. So uh, yeah, you're gonna want to like read up on the back blings before you actually buy whichever one you're thinking about, because one back bling looks kind of cool, the other one looks really awesome, so uh, yeah, make sure that you guys check out the rest of the video, as it will have those in it. Uh, now moving on, we also have another kind of duo set, which is Jump Shot, this is going to be the male variant, which is on screen right now, and again, this is going to be a rare skin, so it's going to actually be pretty cheap, and uh, for a pretty cheap skin, I think this is really cool. I really like it, and it actually seems like the, I guess, is this like an NBA team? So, it's, is it like a basketball team? Well, the basketball team in the Fortnite universe is actually called Gliders, so I really like that, and I think this skin looks really cool, especially with the tattoos on the side. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm a big fan, so yeah, very much like this one indeed. And uh, yeah, moving on to the next one, we have my favorite one from all of this, which is Triple, uh, th Triple? Triple Threat. Yeah, Triple Threat. She is also going to be a rare skin and again you know she's wearing the kind of gliders jersey uh, with the back uh, the cap uh, backwards and everything like that she looks pretty uh, cool in my opinion and uh, she's actually holding up her finger like that because there is going to be a brand new emote where you can actually spin a basketball 
on your finger. Presumably, you know, she did have the basketball layer, but they actually got rid of it in case, you know, whatever, whatever. And now we're going to be, be moving on to the uh, pickaxes. There's only a couple of them in the new set of leaked items. So uh, this is going to be pretty quick, guys. But the first one is going to be on screen right now. And as you can see, this is a rare pickaxe and it's called Tendril. Again, I don't really like it. It is obviously a pickaxe that goes with the, uh, the guy who's called Flytrap. And... Again, I'm just not really a big fan, to be honest. Even though it's a rare and it's only going to be like 800 or something like that, I don't like it. I think it's very... It's very crappy, to be honest. I, I just... I, I don't know. There's nothing really much I can say about that other than that. For me, it's it's not for me, you know? So, yeah. Uh, moving on to the next one, we have the Slam Dunk. And this is going to be a rare pickaxe again. And this one is a little bit more cool, you know? Obviously, it's to go with the jump shot and the triple threat. And, uh, yeah, I like this one. I think it's a, it's actually pretty awesome the way it's like a mini miniaturized kind of like a basketball hoop, you know? Uh, and then the last one that we're going to be seeing out of all of the pickaxes is the Night Owl. That is going to be on screen right now. And, again, it's going to be another rare pickaxe. And this one is a little bit weird, to be honest, because... It doesn't really seem like a pickaxe at all. It just seems like a pole. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really confused about that one. And uh, this is obviously to go with the kind of bandit kind of people. Uh, again, I don't like it. It looks too much like the dragon pickaxe, you know, that you get with the Wukong. Uh, so, yeah, not for me. But, uh, yeah, definitely the triple threat uh, character and the basketball slam dunk pickaxe are definitely ones that I'm going to be buying uh, for the, throughout the season. Now we're going to be moving on to, I believe, the first flyer or the first glider that we're going to be seeing. And this is called Starry Night. And as you can see, this is kind of its own take on Van Gogh, I, I believe, Van Gogh, yeah? And uh, it's obviously Tilted Towers, I believe. If you just kind of look at the picture in the background, you can see it's kind of got like that Van Gogh kind of style to it. And I believe it is Tilted Towers, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, clearly this is a kind of, um, I guess it's like a stolen painting or something like that. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the next one, we have one called Hang Time, and that'll be on screen right now. This is going to be an epic glider, which makes me think that because it's an epic glider, it will have its own kind of music or sound, because as you can see right there, it, you can actually see it's got like a boombox kind of attached to it, and it is in fact a basketball hoop kind of uh, thingy, mobile, like I guess just a hoop and the little back part, so yeah. Uh, so this is obviously going to have some kind of awesome kind of mechanic when you open it up or something. Uh, the next one that we're going to be seeing is the Venus Flyer, which is on screen right now. And this is going to be a rare flyer. And yeah, again, not really that cool to, in my opinion. I don't really like it, so I won't be buying it. Uh, but you know, I can imagine a couple of people will in fact like this and buy it. And last but not least, we're going to be moving on to the last two items, which are actually the back blings for the bandits. And uh, the first one is on screen right now. And this is called the Burgle Bag. And this is going to be an epic. And as you can see, it's got like what, kind of a grappling hook there, a diamond in the bag, a little cat right there like a golden cat, a crowbar, also a map, which is pretty interesting. I really want to see if there's any kind of Easter egg on that map, because it's got kind of like a, a little red arrow there. And also, it's got some kind of torch on the side of it too. So I really like that. That is actually pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't actually know which character this comes with. So it could be the male, it could be the female. I'm not 100% sure. And then we're going to move on to the very last one, which is the strong box. And it is going to be on screen right now. This is going to be, yet again, another epic uh, kind of backpack. And as you can see, it's just kind of a safe, a safe even, that's being attached to the person's back. This one, I really like. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this one comes with the female variant, as the female variant is definitely one that I will buy. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do appreciate you uh, watching it. And I know I'm late on it today, but, you know, it was my son's birthday, all that kind of stuff. And I know that I've made a couple of mistakes in today's video, such as, like, you know, uh, pronouncing words wrong and stuff. But I am sweating right now. I'm going to pass out. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Enjoy the gameplay in the background. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.